Okay, so we made it to see and brave. As you can see, it's raining. But we have here a very traditional scarf. Very nice. And our hotel gave this to us as like a welcome present. Aww. It's kind of like in some hotels in the Philippines when you come or when you go to Hawaii, like they give you like a, a floral lei in here. It's a nice scarf. I'm just looking at the roads right now. And I just remember coming here the very first time. It was like 2013. Literally you don't see any buildings it was just all fields and i don't mean like nice fields but it was just like untouched fields but now like you see so many of these restaurants and according to our lovely guide here murray was saying that now they even have two supermarkets wow which is game changer people game changer so yeah I, i'm just so proud and happy for for CM Rafer and the de development they have, the very, very fast development. chili cookie like it's got three things that I like a cookie chili and chocolate what? <laughs> okay She smells like sampaguita. I wonder if they actually call it sampaguita in uh, the same rape as well. Now this one, this is a very common snack that you find like in bars. You can even find them in tourist um, and souvenir stores. They already come like in nice containers. Unlike the Philippines, we don't really have a very spicy taste or a spicy palate. We're more about the sweet and a little bit of sour. But this is, um, it's so calm, it has a lot of salt, a lot of chili, and I like it. Sodium galore. Okay, what is this? Ta-da! Sticky rice. Oh, like mango sticky rice. Filipinos call it suman. <laughs> okay, let's try the suman. Mm. Mm. If you can see, it has like little bits of fruit. It's jackfruit or lakao. Wow, a nice touch to it. I like it. Okay. We have like a little lotus flower right here. And it is. Fresh fruit. And you know me, if I had another name, I miss fresh fruit. <laughs> I have it like in every meal. Fantastic. So you can actually have the suman together with the fruit. Awesome. 
apart from this lovely welcome tray that they gave they gave us like um, a little notepad of basically some basic phrases that you want to know when you're speaking Khmer okay <laughs> such a lame spiel but guys we're just trying we're trying so i kept saying hello a sour day but guys take a look at the spelling how would you pronounce sour day i would pronounce it as sour but in retrospect it should be pronounced source day so suicide day <laughs> so bad is there no discount here everything is like good morning good afternoon it's fine never mind what's discount again toy toy talk talk discount means cheaper cheaper talk okay do you know what temple means in khmer what <laughs> like that's why it's called anchor wat w-a-t means temple guys i'm so horny i'm like laughing at my own jokes what the fuck So obviously, the fact that there's like a camera here, that means I've seen the room. But I want to show you guys my room. Super nice. Got a big bed over here. And then we've got like our little bar. And then what I really like, of course, we've got this big couch. But I really like the bathroom. Come and check out the bathroom. Super loving this, like this little lotus flower action. But more importantly, check out this bath. Talk, talk about the bath, dude. It is so big. Very, very nice. So I, I'm all about it. So it's kind of like nature, but still industrial. And still, it has this very Cambodian feel to it. It's not too modern, which I like. Very nice. Very, very happy. So, so far, so good. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll try it later. Okay, so first agenda of the day, stop raining meet my ride I think I think that's my ride so apparently you know that's a great thing about third world countries once again resourceful be it food be it just stuff you know and one of which is providing a tour where you can actually do an ox ride well you know in the Philippines we do have a ride that's Kalesa you know, around like Luneta Park, around like Intramuros. And then here we have the ox. I think it's come full circle, folks. And then when we asked the driver, this is it? And then he was like, I don't know, this could be it. I think he has never taken a tourist on this ride yet. So we shall see. It's quite interesting. All right, they're so beautiful. And I'm also slightly scared because at the end of the day, they have horns, but they got flowers. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm getting up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. surreal and um yeah provincial life um it's I, I don't know what to say it's just such a different experience and just being with animals and it's just yeah it's so so cool so cool actually see this that we're riding on this they're looking at us with such amusement they're probably thinking this is our ride every day and they're treating it like a ride at Disneyland no but it's true it's such a different experience hi 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 I think this would be the 
definition of simple joys. Yeah. Like the things that is everyday for a lot of people, it's um, it's for somebody's everyday. It's like once in a lifetime for yeah. other people, and it's just so magical. It's just, ah, it's just so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just passed this place, and there's like little yeah. nipa huts. And there's like really nice flowers in the middle of the swamp. And um, they even have like a set of little, I don't know, it's like a, just baby nipa huts. And um, it's actually a good point. It might even be like those um, dinner in the middle of nowhere. And they set up a nice like candlelit dinner for you. I actually thought that's where we were going. <laughs> but I guess not, just passing by, just to show you like, Seriously, like you can really find like beautiful oasis in the middle of uh, nowhere and just wow. Wow. So I'm looking at all these lotus flowers here in the fields and the swamps and the water and it's such a direct symbolization of everything that we're going through now, like this ride. That there's so much beauty despite where you are, despite it being provincial or rural or just just something so unexpected. I think the thing I love most about this ride is, okay, it's supposed to be recreational, but more than anything, it really is very educational without any words spoken because it's making you aware of, you know, what life there is apart from yours. Um, in, in this case, like how, how blessed one can be, you know, um, and at the same time, you are culturally educating yourself about just people and their everyday lives, what they do to make ends meet, and how industrious they are, how creative they are, that they're able to create something every day into something, um, something like this. So, yeah. shit it's starting to rain starting to rain trying not to fall oh my god hi hi oh no oh no what's happening oh no she's there's a, oh crap oh these boys are trying to take a photo with me hi i get it i get it i got you i got you oh how to pass oh no wait So good. It's like the lights came on and then suddenly like heaven lit up. Like who cares if I'm drenched wet? Um, you know, supposedly at the end of the ox ride, there's, you know, there's, uh, they're going to take you somewhere that overlooks the sunset. And I guess it's somewhere here, but it actually doesn't matter how cloudy it is because it's just such a surreal environment. Wow, and I'm sweating balls, but who cares? I saw some ox balls. Yeah, there's a lot of balls happening. But it was certainly a ball of fun. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, right there. 